this young lady has a history of bilateral facial paralysis. 13 years ago, she had a right-sided paralysis with good recovery, but 18 months ago, she had a um, more dense and longer-lasting paralysis on the left side, which recovered with a significant amount of synkinesis. Can you pucker your lips for me? Okay, and can you um, uh, lift your eyebrows for me? Okay, and can you smile widely for me? Just open your eyes and smile. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, she came to me because she developed a very pronounced sound in the left ear, and it was a sound and a feeling that would come on whenever she was exposed to loud noise and whenever she moved her face the way she just did. And you said, uh, can you describe? It was like it was, going it was, down the road with the it window was, open? Yes, that is like correct, that? Doctor. I was like driving down with the, the windows wide open. It was all the time and it yeah. made me agitated and uh, actually I got on depression medicine from it and Dr. Acacia was kind enough to fix me up and make me better and hopefully I can get off all the medicines. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well good. So we did an exploration of her ear and we divided the spadeus tendon which um, uh, had been affected by the synkinesis um, on the left side. So some of her um, mid-facial muscles had grown into the stapedius muscles and, but not all of them, so she still had an, uh, an abnormal and hyperactive stapedius reflex, but also had one that was uh, activated by facial motion. And so her abnormal sound is absent after a middle ear exploration. Uh, so thank you very much for sharing your story Thank you, with doctor. Us.